Hello guys, welcome to Prince Talk Biz Talk. This is a channel where we talk about businesses. We give you tips and insights on how to run, start and manage your business. And today we are going to be talking about financial independence. And we're going to start with a with the question, how do you gain financial independence? So financial freedom or financial independence is generally assumed to be a state in which an individual or a statehold has sufficient wealth to live on without having to depend on income or uh, from some some of employment. So there is a guy called Robert Kioski and he states financial freedom as uh, freedom available to those who learn about it and work for it. And if you ask your grandparents, your parents, um, your peers on their views about financial independence or financial freedom, you find that their response will be will be completely different from what they think today. So for all the generation, uh, financial freedom is tends to be synonymous. And but uh, you find that. Uh, when it, we are talking about millennium, millennium, millennials, you find that financial freedom doesn't involve working 45 hours a week or 40, for, for 40 years. They want to be financially independent early so that they can enjoy the latter half of life in the in the company of their loved ones. So let's so let's uh, look at the guide to how do you become financially independent. Number one, you need to first do the math. What do we mean by you need to first do the math? Number one, you can draw up a retirement plan. Uh, only after you figure out how much wealth you need to maintain your current standard of living and after after now you you you, you calculate the current monthly expenditure and extra, uh, you extrapolate it in the next 20 to 30 years depending on your target retirement age and don't always take forget to take inflation into account and then another thing you can do is uh, the best day to start saving saving was yesterday and the best day is today so what you're saying is as a millennial building a retirement corpus is probably the last thing on your mind when you when you begin your career so however always consider that today you are young you're independent and are free from responsibility over time this will change and you will have responsibility to increase and so will your expenses so it is easier to save a part of your salary today and uh, and, and and in, in the future, you find that as years pass and you age is closer to retirement, the stress of establishing a financial security at life will weigh heavily on you. And then another thing is leverage the power of compounding. What do we mean by that? Well, it may sound very complex. It's very easy, actually. The power of compounding, as we call, as we like to call it, it's the golden rule of financial planning. And simply, it refers to growing your wealth by earning on your previous earning, growing your wealth or by earning on your previous earnings. And but, but what most people fail to understand is that a small amount compi- compounded over a long period can generate more than a large amount compounded over a small period. So let's understand this uh, with a very example. Let's say we have a guy called Rahi, Rahi and Ashok. They both graduate with a degree in mass communication the same year and both of them they begin they begin they began their careers working for the same farm uh, in India and while they had similar preferences regarding many things like in life their financial choices were different so we find that Ravi wanted to retire by by 45 and spend the rest of his life in, in the, as a in a cottage in the woods and then Ashok must have had the same dreams dreams too but he never made an effort to turn them, turn them into a reality so you find that uh, while Ravi began investing every month from the age of 25 Ashok realizes the importance of investment only later in life and started with let's say five thousand dollars a month after he turned 35. so when you and for this one this guy called Ravi he started with 2000 a month and you see he started earlier than Ashok so you find that both of them will or actually they will earn interest in their money but you find that it's going to be going with that let's say it's going with a 12 percent interest rate so you find that Ravi savings now amount to 20 where Ashok is nine so you see if you start today you can consider this recommendation always plan ahead and to define the idea of retirement so those are some of the things you need to do if you want to be financially stable we have said that one first of thing first thing first is you do the math and then you start today 
investing today and then you always leverage the power of compounding i hope you have learned something or two if you have learned something leave it in the comment section and i'll be sure to read it out make sure at the end of this video you like you comment subscribe share hit on the notification button so that every time i upload a new video you can always be notified until next time goodbye